Yo, what's up guys, it's Barker Pseus, coming out to you guys with another video, and today, I just want to apologize really quick, I have not uploaded a video in like a month, I'm really sorry, I was really busy with school and stuff, it's worth it though, I got a 4.0 at the end of the quarter, it's all worth it, I was just busy and stuff, but anyway, that's not the point of this video, the point of this video is I'm going to be giving you guys a map overview of the new Awakening DLC map, Skyjacked, this is a Black Ops 3 map, part of the Awakening DLC, this is a remake of the map Hijacked from Call of Duty Black Ops 2, although Skyjacked is a remake, they have changed a few things that really changed the map flow of this map to start where the ladders used to be to get up from the bottom deck to the part above it on hijack now you can just mantle up on that ledge which isn't that big but it's just something next both hot tubs are sadly removed and are now just little platforms at first i thought the one in the very middle was still water it looked like water in the trailer but it's not water it both hot tubs have been removed sadly i'm very sad this is this just really breaks my heart i was hoping that one at least one of them would have had water in it but anyway on to the next thing. Next, on the spawn with the jet skis where there was a ledge where people could spawn trap. There's now, that's now replaced with like a giant window thing. So it's not as easy to spawn trap people. And also you can spawn on that side and there is someone spawn trapping you. You can shoot them a lot easier because there's not as much cover. It's just a giant window. And then the ledge like goes probably up to like the middle of their leg and yeah. Next. A lot of the walls have been made a lot taller so people cannot boost over them. Again, next, on the wall that connects to the little building thing across the hot tub, you can actually go outside of that wall and wall run all the way across that side without being spotted in the middle. You guys will see some like gameplay of it. You can also kind of do this on the other side. It's a lot harder though. Yeah, I'm not too good at this, but it's okay. I've used it once in game. It didn't really help, but you know, if you do want to get a good flank route on the enemy, um, especially since that little lane right there is a very really high traffic area, if you can get a little behind behind like the whole team that's a really good thing to do anyway that's it for that finally the biggest change was on the side of the map you guys probably do know about this is just the giant hole on the side of the ship that you can use to get into the bottom deck of the ship or you can just wall run across and if you go further on to wall running you can get a little bit more behind the enemy and yeah a couple things that have stayed the same are the two sniper spots that can overlook the middle of the map and also the grenade shoot that you can throw grenades down to get from the bottom deck is still there you can actually throw grenades up through there too if you need to get something like on the b flag or something but yeah anyway guys i hope you did enjoy the video if you did be sure to like leave a like comment and subscribe and also i'm very sorry about if you guys heard the fan i'll try to like edit out the sound but if you guys do hear a fan because i haven't edited this at all so i've not heard what this sounds like we, again if you did hear a fan i I apologize for that my computer just has like overheated literally twice already uh, so yeah i just have a fan going over that anyway again if you did like the video be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and as always have a nice day and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye